Hello everyone. Today I decided to do a uh, video on my Elite Line TX2250. It's a uh, it's a linear amplifier. Uh, recently had it in St. John's, uh, whereby we had uh, the relays replaced, and that somewhat uh, managed to fix some of the problem. But right now. What's happening is once the uh, unit is powered up, it uh, is automatically engaged. The TX light automatically comes on. Now I'm not able to troubleshoot the board as much as what Radio Nut could do, but uh, in the meantime, I ran into a gentleman on YouTube who suggested, uh, through his experience, to change out the two transistors in there, and these transistors are. Uh, three 904s and I'll show them to you if I can get them in the camera let's see there's one right here I flip this over you can probably see it one right here and opposite the board you see the other one right here sitting down there. These are uh, 3904 transistors and uh, just gonna go by uh, this gentleman's opinion that I should change out these two transistors to solve that problem and I just so happen to have looked through my uh, inventory and I was very fortunate to find two of these transistors they're identical. I've tested them and they are working fine. Let me see if the camera can pick up the zoom on this. You see the number on the inside there. Anyway, you get to adjust the sentiment. Um, as far as I can tell, best I can tell, is that it is 3904. So anyway, going to uh, take apart this linear now and uh, get it down to its uh, uh, workable parts so I can get at the back of the circuit board which is on the top of this uh, heat sink. So I have to get at that. So stand by. Okay, we're now looking at the actual heat sink and it's a huge heat sink. As you can see, it's made of aluminum. I'm going to touch up this, uh, this um, paste here. I've had this off a few times, and the last time I did remove this, I uh, decided to order some compound, uh, some silicone compound or thermal coupling, com uh, what they call it, silicone coupling for basically for heat sinks so that heat will dissipate. So I picked up some, and uh, now I have lots for many, many years to come. Okay. Here we're looking at the uh, the actual pills here, and I'm going to put some silicone on these. Heat sink, and clean up the board here. Now uh, this is where we replace the relays in this area here. And if I turn this around very carefully, we will see the two areas that have to be unsoldered. Uh, these the sil this uh, transistor here and this transistor there. So uh, on the back we'll have to remove uh, solder points here and solder points here. And we should be ready to rock. Put the other ones in. Stand by. Hello once again. And we have the transistors put in. And uh, as you can see, the amp that I generally use is uh, below here. Shut that off. And the amp that I just repaired is on top here. So we'll turn it on and see what happens. As you can see, the TX light is no longer engaged, as it should be. The power light is on. 
the preamp light is not on, but if you flick the switch, it comes on. We look here, we have the radio, uh, the meter here on 1000 watt scale, and uh, we are on AM. And it looks like 40 watts on low. You notice the TX light was also on. We'll go to medium. And uh, we're sitting at just below 100 watts. And we'll go to high. TX light on. And we are sitting on uh, 100 watts. Okay. We shut the power amp off, turn it down to a 10 watt scale, and we look at the meter. And we have nothing. I will turn up the volume on the radio. And we have no receive. Now, there's nothing wrong with the cables, so this is the dilemma we have. I'll key up once more with the amp off, and you will note the meter of the radio if you can see it. The light is out, but it's uh, keying up. RX light, RX TX, red is RX, green is TX. So the radios working fine. Let me let me just say I already tested this. Okay, so now we know the amp is working. Uh, the preamp not working. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong now, but that's uh, a step forward. We do have the amp running uh, on low, medium, and high, and the TX is no longer engaged as soon as you turn it on. So the two resistors uh, that were replaced uh, solved that problem. The one resistor that was bad was on the TX side. The RX resistor was okay, but I replaced it anyway. Now, the question is, why is there no receive or key up of any sort with the amp off? It's all wired properly. The radio is TXing, but there's absolutely nothing on any of the meters. No modulation. Sorry. Absolutely no modulation. No power, no SOR, no reflection. So basically the amp is not uh, taking in an RX, uh, allowing an RX signal to come in or to go out. I believe that is the issue right now. So I leave it at that, hoping that uh, Somebody out there may be able to help. Uh, the gentleman that, if I find them here now, um, I'll mention them in the next video. Uh, the gentleman that messaged me through uh, YouTube and uh, told me to replace the transistors. I apologize. I think it's Wildcat or something like that, and some numbers behind his name. Um, I will get that next time I I, I do the troubleshoot and. Uh, and see what's going on. Anyway, like I said, the amp is transmitting, but it doesn't seem to want to let any RX in or TX out while it's off. I'll check uh, the board and see if there's anything I may have overlooked or unsoldered or done something, but uh, I don't quite understand. I will hook up the other amp now and uh, do the test, and I'm sure it's going to work because I already did, and it works fine. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any ideas as to what could be wrong, uh, please send me a message. A personal message to YouTube would be fine. Thank you and uh, have a great evening.